When interacting with a police officer, I would be terrified. But there are some people that just aren't. Some people that take it to the next level. This is when dumb Karen's trying to fight cops. Okay, I'm hoping that this will be a nice little goofy reacts, but fighting police officers seems like a completely insane thing to me. I mean, I guess this channel is called Dr. Insanity, so it does make sense. Let's see what it's all about. This for being annoying and thinking they're above the law. But what happens when Karens pick the wrong battle and try to fight police officers? <laughs> is it all white women? You verbally abuse me as soon as I got here. Here are four examples. Yeah, they, yeah, they're all, they're all white. Okay, so they'll probably be fine this then. happening, starting with the case of Brandy McGowan. On the 30th of March, 2022, police were called on Brandy after she was seen threatening people with a- The way she stands up right now, she looks like she's a boss that's waiting for you to encounter her. Like she's waiting at the end of the hall in a Dark Souls cathedral. brick in a Florida Walmart. At some point, she decided the brick wasn't good enough and stole a pocket knife to wield instead. When what? an officer arrived, he found Brandy holding the knife. The cop was armed with his service weapon, but Brandy refused to drop hers. You know what they say, never bring a knife to a gunfight. Drop the knife now! Drop it. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Oh my god, what? Drop it. She has to be like on meth or something. She has to be completely cracked out. There's no way. She said, you killed my family. She's comp she's on something. In fact, she may not just be on one something. She may be on many now. somethings. Brandy seemed blissfully unaware that the officer is pointing a gun directly at her and has a taser in broad view on his utility belt. <laughs> okay, I don't think the taser is as much help as, you know, the gun would be. I I'd be a little bit more scared of the gun. Like, oh, you have, oh, you got a gun? Pfft, I'm not afraid. Oh, is that a taser? Oh, gee, whoa, sorry. Sorry, police officer. He is well within his rights to use it to subdue and disarm her if he feels as though she's a danger to him and the civilians around him. Clearly, she doesn't understand that, as she stands her ground and continues to threaten people with her weapon. Put it down. Drop it. What do you do in this situation? Do you just tase them? I mean, if you're just gonna stand there, stance up with a knife, and there's there's an employee coming in the back. Put the knife down. That is just walking around. Put the knife down. At this point, backup arrives on the scene and takes the attention off the first cop for a moment, giving him the opportunity to holster his weapon and switch to the taser. In this situation, it's obviously much more than the cop to use non-lethal force, but it's dangerous to lower his weapon while in a one-on-one -on -one standoff. Yeah, I mean, I think non-lethal force is preferred in like most situations, right? Uh, the arrival of the other officers gives the perfect relief for him to switch to and deploy the taser. This could be dangerous, yeah. Oh, she's down. She's down. And, and she's, yeah, there, there, she's gone. She's on something. I mean, this is, yeah, there's no way. This is not someone who is of cool and calm and collected mind. She's, I don't know what she's on. You got it. I've never seen anything like this. She just walked into a Walmart, perfect job grabbed the knife. Brandy and allowing the cops to put her in cuffs and detain her. Why are they censoring out? Because it's, you know, it's a person just fell over. It's probably not, it's probably against YouTube uh, monetization practices. This video might have been demonetized because if you show someone being injured like this, it can get demonetized. After the Walmart interaction, she was taken to a local hospital for evaluation, where it was discovered she was somewhat predictably high on meth and had apparently ingested over four grams of the stuff before entering the store to cause Ooh, her chaos. Four grams of Back meth. At the police station, it was also discovered that Brandy had a lengthy criminal record, with charges including burglary, kidnapping, and battery. For this kidnapping oh she was projecting when she said are you kidnapping me she was like oh i know how this goes i've done this before this incident she was hit with another charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon carrying a sentence of up to five years in prison and a five dollars fine if okay, she's not gonna be able to pay a five thousand dollar fine this doesn't convince you not to take drugs nothing will but this next case is i don't think anyone needs convincing to not take meth if you're taking meth you're already in like the worst situation possible it, it is very, very difficult to get out of that kind of situation. I, I could tell you guys, hey, you shouldn't, you shouldn't take meth. And I feel like most people will be like, well, I mean, yes, of course, Daniel, I wasn't going to do that. That's a stupid idea. It's not like other drugs like caffeine or alcohol or even weeds where you can just, you know, you can partake a little bit. You can enjoy it a little bit and you'll be fine. See, if you're a meth, it's like you are a, you're a meth head. Uh, you can't be a normal function member of society and also be 
whacked out on meth all the time. It's a perfect example of how alcohol can have very similar effects, at least on Karens. This officer was called to a bar on the night of August 11th, where there was an intoxicated woman allegedly attacking multiple people and causing a serious disturbance. The woman was quickly identified as Christina Cabot, the wife of the previous mayor of the town. Uh-oh, we're gonna see a little corruption going on, a little bit of do you know who I am? A little bit of do you know who, who my husband and is? Someone who has clearly are we gonna hear it? I'm gonna call my husband and tell him about this right now. He overstayed her welcome at the bar. Oh That's an opener. She's playing up the camera. Okay, she's a little bit of an actress. Literally bit here. She walked into me. Why are you in here? I said, oh, it was a cool part. I don't like you. You're black. I said, what? No, she's racist. What do you mean? She's been the bar for right. a while. Oh, but just being dumb. Yeah. No. That's crazy that people still have the balls to be that outwardly racist. Like, it still just happens. People just go around and, and just be outwardly, insanely racist. No. I don't know who she is. She's Tim Kess. We all do, yeah. You all do. Yeah. Just, yeah, maybe take her and take her to the next city over. I did do it. Oh, they know. And yeah, she's like, you don't want to trial her in this city. I mean, there's going to be no justice in this city. You got to go. You're going to have to go over to the next one. Then she'll get a fat trial. Okay. She, I mean, no, you, you know, she, she you push, know what I mean? No, seriously. Okay. So I'm yep. Other patrons of this bar detail exactly what Christina has been doing to cause the disturbance, and it's clear she hasn't made herself popular. This is also the second time today that police have been called to remove her from a bar. She's been intoxicated what? nearly the entire day, so the police decide it's time to have a chat with her and get her back to the station. How do you stay drunk the entire day? Uh, I don't know, but when I get drunk, I, I handle it for like a few hours, and I'm like, okay, it's, it's at bedtime now. I'm sleepy. It's over now. I can't be drunk for like eight hours, like 10 hours, 12 hours. That's way too long. I guess if you're an alcoholic, maybe. Who's this guy? Which one you're Which one's there? Yeah. You know what happened to me. If I be honest. What happened to you? If I be quite honest with you. Yeah. You know what happened to me. I'm Tim Yeah, but no. Yeah. This sounds like an oblivion conversation. Who's this guy? Which one's there? Yeah. You know what happened to me. If I be honest. What happened to you? If I be quite honest with you. Yeah. You know what happened to me. I'm Tim Foyer. Yeah, but no, okay. this, this uh, is different. I, I don't know what happened. But you were yeah. good, man. Like, just now or like my whole life? Did you just get here? No, I was talking to other people. No, oh, you just got into a process here? Like no, I, I, we had are, dinner together uh, over at Turbo like six years ago. And you're going to pretend like you don't know what happened to me? I don't know why I don't know what happened to you. This town is going to shut Tim and I down everywhere we go. I don't know. I agree. Have you seen the mud crabs lately? Santium Bayonet of the High Elves. I'm going to call him soon. What happened to me? You know, like the police department said that I did something wrong. Yeah, because you asked for an all audience, so you must enjoy it. White fucking motherfuckers was there. What? Oh, she is so racist. Oh my god. She's just outwardly saying, I mean, even even while drunk, even being drunk, lowering your inhibitions this much. How can you think that this is an acceptable thing? What was the guy mayor of? The racism town? Was this man the mayor of just Ku Klux City? Even though the police department dropped all the charges. Even though the police department continued to investigate me. I love how the, the girl in yellow from the start is just like dancing around in the back. She's like having her best time right now. When they had no right. Uh, so what does that have to do with tonight's Nothing. Action? I don't okay. even know who called the police. So, uh, a few people. You should go ask them. So they have already told me. They what said they that you were pushing people and touching people and trying to push people off their stools. Christina lets the cops know that she believes the city of La Crosse, where they are, is out to get her and her husband. Evidently, oh, yeah? the police have investigated her in the past and dropped the case, but obviously there's something bigger at play here, or- mm, they dropped the case. I don't know if this can be- you can be this stupid and this doing crimes and having this them just drop the case and having- that, that's gotta be a little corruption going on there. At least that's what she's trying to insinuate. In reality, Christina is extremely intoxicated and looking for any reason to blame someone else for the ruckus she's been causing and a way to get out of this situation. Oh, it's Chad? No, no, we're not. No, Karen's gonna go talk to Chad. I didn't talk to you once. 
The police are told that Christina was politely asked to leave the bar multiple times, to which she violently refused, becoming both verbally and physically abusive, starting She's fights so with drunk. she could get her hands on. At one point, she even sat down in the middle of the bar and began kicking and screaming like a child. It was at this what? point the police were called to the scene. I mean, they're all drunk in this situation. Go. No, we're not going to go inside, ma'am. She did it! She did the thing! I knew it! I knew it was gonna come! It was either that you know me, you know who I am, do you know who I am? Do we know do you know who my husband is? They're after my husband, I can't believe and she's just straight up racist. I mean, I don't know how she's still walking around at this point. I really don't. We're, we're gonna be able to treat me like this as long as I live here. Treat you like this. You're being treated very, very well right now, considering what you've done at this point. You're being treated with kitty gloves, kitty gloves. This is like when the five-year-old sets the house on fire and you're like, ah, oh, well, I mean, they're five years old. I don't know what you can really do about that. It was like, oh, what are we gonna do as a five-year-old? If you're here, I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong and the police are after me. Can you believe it, folks? I only said a little bit of racism. That's all, folks. Well, yeah, because they're yeah. white. What was the other call? Same thing. Damn, they're just glazing over that. I'd just like to put in a good word for uh, that lady right there. She's, okay. she's an okay what? lady. She's okay. What? Yeah, she's an okay lady. Okay. What? I appreciate that. What, was she paid to say that? But. Whoa! <laughs> she's currently manhandling everyone. Wait, no way. <laughs> Wait, is she paying him? We'll, we'll take it. You did see that, right? This guy came over to put in a good word for her after talking with Christina in the background, and then she immediately walked over to no pay way. him directly in front There's of the There's no cops. way, dude. Actually, I don't. <laughs> That's so funny. It's so blatant and brazen. Like, oh, yeah, yeah I just want to say that she is she is great, and I love her, and she's going to give me $50 right now to say this. I just want to put in the good word. As if putting in the good word will do anything for you in this situation. The police are going to be like, oh. I, I didn't realize that she was actually kind of nice. Uh, well, let's just let you get on with your day then. Have a good one and leave. No, 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 no. Dude, he's he is looking at that money. Oh, you can't even tell. Like he was he was eyeballed on that money. This guy, he's eyeballing the wallet. You know that. I swear to God, you're good. I do this shit, Thank you. Ma'am, is it okay if we talk over here? Oh no, is he? She was like, she just he just called you the N word. Is she gonna be like, well, if he can say the N word, why can't I? I don't get it. I do this shit for real, for real. You come over here and talk to me. And my name is Christina, and you know me. I'm just, I'm just calling you, ma'am. Don't call me, ma'am. Why? Thank you. Is it okay if we talk over here, Christina? No, I. Guys, I think we should take into account that the guy off to the side here was saying that she's actually kind of cool, um, even though he's blatantly paid off. I don't know what you want to talk to me about, okay. but I'm pretty sure you can do it right here. No so cares. unfortunately, you do have to go to jail tonight, okay? Wait, yeah, you're going to put you're going downtown. It's over, mate. I can't believe paying off that guy to say that she was good and and nice didn't work. I really thought that that was gonna work too. Like he came over and he said, hey, listen, I'm putting in the good word. And I don't understand why didn't that work? It seemed like a foolproof plan, right? Maybe the racist, can you be arrested for being racist? Oh, white girl, I don't know what he's doing. Oh my God, she said it. Oh, she straight up said it. Damn, usually they don't say it, but she's just like, no, no, you don't understand. No, 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 sorry, sorry, officer. Obviously, you may be confused here. <laughs> it's an okay mistake to make. You don't understand. Like, check. Wait, hold on. Let's see. See, I'm I'm actually white, so you can let me go now. You can you can uncuff those cuffs. <laughs> I, I'm a white woman, so uh, you can let me go now. <laughs> Due to everything that's gone on so far, the cops decide to put her in cuffs and take her to jail for the night. Frankly, it's impressive that even while restrained, she still managed to make enemies. On the way back to the car, she refused to cooperate and made her legs weak, forcing the cops to drag her. And even that wasn't the most annoying thing she did on this walk. They should just grab her like one arm at a time and pull 
roller across the floor so that, you know you know like your your face is scraping along the floor and just be like all right well i guess we're gonna have to drag you over and just do that the wallet yep. in my yep. purse i'm gonna carry it all the way over there okay just like no, this. i want you to put it in my purse well let's let's go and then we'll we'll make it happen okay thank you i'm not going in there we go just what does she think is going to happen in this situation? I know she's drunk and you don't think correctly, but. Does she, does she think the police officers are going to be like, damn, we can't lift this small woman? As you see here, folks, she is going for this squealing tactic that is under uh, tactic number five of the white. Karen uh, playbook. We have been through the racism card. We've been through the I am a white woman card. We have been with the who do you do you know who I am card. And now we are doing the uh, squealing card very, very soon. We will get the manager quote. Yes, it is coming, folks. We will get the manager quote at some point. With disorderly conduct and resisting arrest, as well as firmly placing herself on the bad side of pretty much every cop and civilian in the entire town. No, you don't understand. The town's exactly just against their family. Parents can make situations like this, but the cop in this this next case shows exactly how to handle them. This girl okay. had just been detained by police in a Walgreens. <laughs> Thank you and see you again. I love that. That's a perfect screenshot right there. After going on an extensive racist rant towards a group of Muslims in the store. Why is it always the racism? The officer's lives as awkward as possible, but this cop is here to shut her down. Ma'am, no weapons on you or anything like that? No, here. No, no, that's okay. Stay. The only weapon she has is a mouth. For me, please. No. Just make sure you have any weapons on you. That is a deadly weapon. I don't want to touch you. Get a pocket. Okay. Under arrest for battery. I didn't do any battery. No, when you spit on people, that's battery. No, I did not. Listen, he verbally abused me. Well, that doesn't give you the right to spit on him. That's why <laughs> you verbally abused me as soon as I got here. Did I spit on you? You're in arrest for battery. Do no, yep, yeah, definitely. Please don't do that. They're handcuffs. They're not for comfort. Can let's I go. kick my purse? Absolutely. Come on. Oh, let's go. please don't. No, oh, don't no, you're definitely me, going to jail. Let's go. Walk. Damn. Okay. We didn't even see like the lead up to this. So we're just like thrown directly into the deep end this time. Uh, that's absolutely fine. Sure. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Walgreens will protect my car. Uh -oh. This is unbelievable. Let's go. Unbelievable. Unbe uh oh. Oh no. Are they outside? Is she gonna do more racism? Well. I'll get a good attorney. God bless you. Yeah, you'll need God one. Bless me, God, because I'm a Christian. Oh yeah. Christians don't talk like you. This cop. Hey, yeah, you know what? Like, you tell. Yes, e yeah, exactly. You tell them. Manage course, to get correct. Cops and out the door in record time. But he still has to get her into the patrol vehicle and back to jail. And this Karen isn't going down easy. Confirm please, for please me don't or. Do this, please. I didn't do anything. How about you just stand there and stop talking? How about we do that? <laughs> How about we do that? That doesn't give you an excuse to act the way that you're acting. Not just stop talking. Oh no, crocodile tears. Here they come. Turn on the waterworks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your officer, I plead uh, the fifth. I did not know that being racism was going to be getting me arrested. Yeah, this is this is during COVID as well. So yeah, spitting on someone is against the law, right? She blamed white supremacists for calling the police on her. What? Really? I mean, last night, I've been having a lot happen in my life. Really? That's gonna happen? I just had to let loose with a little bit of racism. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you... Wait, oh, 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 but you. Hold on. Can you apologize to I apologize. I'm not a racist. I have friends that are Muslim. <laughs> no way! You can't do that, man. That's the meme. You can't do the meme. The straight up, no, I can't be racist. I have Muslim friends, actually, so I'm not. I'm definitely not. You, she said the thing. Does she know that that's a thing? I have friends that are Muslim. Oh, that hurts. You're hurting my hands. Well, they're handcuffs. Uh, they're not for comfort. Well, I've never had hands. So that's a no. Okay, so Except those, those was, same Muslims uh, that you were talking shit to just decided your fate and they elected to not prosecute. You. God bless you. Yeah, God bless them. Because yeah. if it was up to me, you'd be going to jail. Come on, officer, please. But they decided, as the victim, that you are not going to jail. How is that? How is that a thing? How can you? If she broke the law, she broke the law, right? How can you just decide? Actually, I don't want to. I don't want to like press charge. I don't. Is that a thing in the UK? Yeah, in the UK, the police don't require the victim's consent to press charges. So I guess the police officer in this in moments could just do it if they want to. However, if the victim is no longer willing to give evidence. The CPS can run into difficulties during the prosecution. Okay, so you could just say, "Hey, I'm not going to help you," but. 
You can't say that to the least. Yeah, I don't want you to press charges on this person. You just, you have to just let them do it. Oh. In an act of just let kindness, the group of Muslims she spat at and was racist towards decided not to press charges and asked the police to let her go. But somehow, that was nice. Even that isn't enough to stop this woman from running her mouth. My father was with the army. Don't care. The army. Anybody get don't care. Look at look what you did to my aunt. You should yeah. be going. To don't jail. care. Huh? Oh, can you get me my purse, please? Hey. Can I go to Calvary Chapel? You need to re who cares? Who cares? Why are you saying this? Why are you saying this? No one cares. It doesn't matter. No one cares. No one cares that you're fucking religious. No one cares that you're Christian. Who cares? It doesn't matter. That's concerning. That's, yeah. Yeah, very concerning. Yeah, we'll talk to Pastor Doug. I, I will, actually. Right. I will talk to Pastor Doug and let him know. Oh, they go to the home. same place? Different religion. Sunday for the church. Okay, for sure. Okay? Yeah. 11 a.m. All right. Good night. Good night. In the Bible, it says, thou shalt be racist towards Muslims. In the NYPD, a 14 is a license plate check. Oh, so they were checking her license plate as well, just to, you know, just in case. You're respectful. They all are, man. I thank God for President Trump. What? Oh, come on. Not the president. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, what does that even mean? Wait, you're not for much fucking longer. Wait, 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 wait hold on. Wait, 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 where was this? This was in uh, 210401. So well, it goes year and then month and then day. So what, what do you mean? It wasn't that after what Joe was president then? What, what do you mean? He, he was inaugurated on the 20th of January. Wait, does she, does she think that Trump is still president or something? Like what's going on? We'll join him too. This woman was incredibly fortunate to be led away with no charges, especially after everything she said on camera. But Sean Malarkey wasn't so lucky. Sean Malarkey? It would appear there's a little bit of malarkey going on here, Jack. Malarkey was arrested for domestic violence after hitting her ex-husband with her car. But when the cops moved Whoa, to arrest nasty. her, things immediately started to go south. Step up. Excuse me. Excuse Step me. Out. No, excuse me. Step Put up. your hands off of me. Step out of the car right no. now. You're under arrest. She's got that voice. It's like the quintessential Karen voice. It's the, excuse me, excuse me. What are you doing to me? Get off me. Get your hands off of me right now. Yes, you are. No, I am not. Yes, you are. Malarkey's behavior is erratic and her tone's aggressive from the off. Her children are in the backseat of the car, but this doesn't seem oh, to no. affect how she handles the encounter. And things only get worse. I you know when you're a kid and you're getting like told off or your friend is getting told off by that mom and you have to stand there awkwardly and be like, and you just kind of like look at the ground and it's really awkward. This is like the Omega 100 times version of this when your parent is getting arrested by the police and you just have to kind of like sit there and look at the ground. You're like, oh, mom's dead it again. I will tase you if you're- Wait, she tried to kill the children's- dads with the car with the kids in it oh no they're traumatized now oh my god get out of the car you better take your hands off of me right now i told you you're under arrest why? get out of the car why because you have a warrant i just sent a message and I, <laughs> I just sent a message with my vehicle and the message was i'm trying to murder you am, excuse me get out of the car right now no did somebody say that you could come into our house? Asking the cops who gave them permission to enter the property is a common tactic in situations like this one. But for the suspects, the reality is that the police are well within their rights to enter property uninvited so long as they have a warrant. Yeah, and they just said they had a warrant, so it doesn't really With matter. The second officer's assistance, Malarkey is removed from her car and cuffed. However, no more Malarkey for you. Things get even worse. Uh, you did this. No, I didn't. Oh, Andy asked you to get out. Excuse me? Andy asked you to get out of the car. No, Andy yanked me. I yanked you because I told you you're under arrest and you refused to exit no. your vehicle. God, those poor kids. Oh my god, they're. That's done. I mean, you can't have a better my mom is an idiot story than than this. That's it. I mean, this when they grow up, it's gonna be a great story that they can tell at family. Well, not fa well, not family gatherings actually. A great story they can tell at like parties. But for now, that is a terrible situation to be in. We'll show up for your neighbors here. Even restrained, Malarkey's attitude does not change at all. The cop then smells alcohol on her breath, which oh, of course he's drunk. The bizarre behavior. You are a shitty human being. You throw somebody down in front of their children. What the f is wrong? Sit down. I told you. I can't believe the bravery these people have. I understand that she's drunk and that gives you a little bit of liquid courage, but I don't understand this bravery. Even if I was as plastered as I've ever been in my entire life, I'm about to like pass out. I'm so drunk. I would never have the courage to talk back to an American police officer like that. They they can just shoot you. They they just shoot you. No! F you! You piece of shit. 
I, I don't understand where this bravery is coming from. Piece of dirt that I would on if you were on fire. I smell an odor of alcohol on your breath. No, that's my. That's your. What? <laughs> I can smell the alcohol on your breath. No, that's my piss. That's right, police officer. I've drunk my own piss. Okay. She defies the officer's orders and tries to leave the vehicle, then makes a point to single out the cop who initiated the arrest. Get, phone on. Get your f***ing hands off me. We see situations like this often, where a suspect will target one member of law enforcement and use them as a scapegoat. This is typically followed by legal threats, so they're likely targeting the officer they feel they could best build the strongest case against. However, this wouldn't work all too well. Get your Cool. Hey, if you keep resisting, whoa! With that, if you, you know what? Did she go for the bite? There's no way you just launch the bite attack like that. That is a next, that is an advanced level technique. You can't just pull that out of nowhere, especially while surrounded in such a situation. I'm gonna charge you with putting your fing dirty ass hands on Stop me. Stop moving. I don't think that you can do that. Alarki then goes on to make violent threats to the officers. Pay attention to how quickly she tries to change the conversation after her most extreme threat. Do you know, no, do you know what he's done? <laughs> <laughs> She just got pulled in. It was like a Luigi's Mansion ghost getting sucked up by the Hoover. Stop kicking mother. us. I'm going to kick you right in the f***ing Jesus That's Christ. Me. She is. Oh, my God. They are treating her with kids gloves. Omega kids gloves. Don't that do that. Mother. You are dead. What's that? You are getting sued. No, no. What did you say before that? You said I am dead. What do you mean by that? You are Elaborate. She's gonna bite you. She's got the zombie virus. She has like the Last of Us Corseps virus running through her teeth. She's gonna infect you and turn you into a clicker. So I'm honestly stunned. I want to know. I have to know what comes of this. She was charged with aggravated assault of an officer, <laughs> aggravated DUI. This was her third DUI with a child passenger. Third. Okay, come on. Seriously, third DUI with a child passenger. How at the second one do you not just like toss her in prison? and throw away the key. How do you have this kind of passive resistance to being arrested and actually thrown in prison? You put kids in danger, you put people in danger, she's putting herself in danger, children in danger, and literally everyone around her in danger, potentially could kill someone randomly, potentially could kill her own kids, and you just, you just get to walk around third time. Third time's the charm, you know? Soon after this arrest, she was also charged with endangering the life or health of a child and violation of a bail bond and received a misdemeanor charge for resisting or obstructing an officer. If you I know, wait, 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 what does that actually do? Does she get put in prison? Dude, I swear to God, these people have such a fucking resistance to being put in prison, that's insane. Like, she was right, that the person, the, the drunk mayor's wife was right. Like, she was like, no, I'm a white girl, I don't go to prison. It's about time, she lost her driver's license for a year, but only because it was mandatory on a DUI. What? What? How does she still have custody? And she just, just tried to kill her husband as well. How does she have custody? That's insane. I, I can't believe it. That is, is that just, just ridiculous? Oh man, well, that was eye-opening. Truly eye-opening. And if you want to see more eye-opening videos, and you can subscribe to Dr. Insanity. You can also subscribe to more powers if you want to see more of my dumb face as well.